Hi guys and welcome back to the Boatholic channel. In this video we're removing the cabin floor and preparing the master cabin bed plug in our Sea line SC35 project boat ready for taking a fiberglass mould. For viewers new to the channel, the boat is the master or plug boat used by the Sea line factory to produce moulds and then fiberglass parts for the production run of SC35 boats. The boat was sold off as part of the liquidation sale uh, when Sea Line International went into administration in 2013. We acquired the boat in late 2017 and intend to fully rebuild the boat by producing new fiberglass parts using the original plug installed. The next stage of the rebuild is to refinish the master cabin bed plug, which could then be used to make a fiberglass mould. This new mould uh, would then be used to produce new fiberglass bed parts which could be bonded and glassed into place. Once the bed was installed, we could also install a new fiberglass chain locker, fit a new chain locker bulkhead, and install new bulkheads in the master cabin to help add strength, which would be identical to the production boat. Because the master cabin bed is a complex shape, it would be difficult and time consuming for us to replicate this mold. We therefore took the decision to repair and refinish the factory plug in its current position. This way, we could produce a new moulding in four parts and this would give us the added advantage of being able to then fit the new fiberglass parts through the narrow cabin doorway. So first job was to remove the saloon seat plug. This plug again was in poor condition so we took measurements and this gives us a couple of options. We can either produce a new mould in fiberglass at a later date or we could replicate this seating out of lightweight ply. Um, so that's a decision we'll take at a later date. We also carefully removed the air conditioning mold, um, which is situated under the saloon seat. It's not our intention to fit AC to this boat, but um, we may still install the trays anyway. So then if we want to fit AC at a later date, we can. Next, we remove the existing white gel coat or paint which had been applied to the plug by a previous owner. Um, so this needed to be carefully chipped away with a, a chisel, try not to damage the, the finished surface. And we also carefully remove the shower mold which would also be repaired and refinished in the workshop at a later date. Next, we removed the cabin floor and fully cleaned the, the hull. Our long-term plans um, are to lay either a new fiberglass encapsulated floor or we may use um, a composite material for the floor. We've, we've not made a decision on that yet. But as a temporary measure, we've laid a plywood floor so that we could at least work on the master bed plug. Next job was to repair the damage to the factory plug using filler and sanding to as smooth a finish as possible. The plug itself is made from plywood uh, which had been screwed and glued together in the factory and then filler was used to create all the internal and external radius corners that you can see in the pictures. The plug um, took around four days for us to fill and sand and honestly was painstaking work but hopefully um, all this effort was going to be worth it.
nice if they said you want to chuck in about this much um, catalyst, but it doesn't. What do you think it'll be a percent too? Well, you know, yeah. Maybe I need to go and look it up. Do you think? I need to Google it. I uh, kind of rather, maybe. Duratec surface primer, amateur catalyst. Probably one percent, but just in case. Okay. So what do we think we're mixing this at? One and a half I'm going for. One and a half percent? Yeah. That's my feeling. I've got to get a lid off that, yeah. enjoyed today's video guys if you did please hit the thumbs up button and please remember to subscribe and we'll be back next week with another video and also if there are any XC line guys or anybody out there that knows any more about this boat we'd love to hear from you please comment in the comment section below and we'll see you on the next one